everybody here welcome back to my channel and to my new family guys welcome to the family yes this is the season of the year in which we do spooky things because it's Halloween and yeah I have created this look for you if you wanted to see this kind of look it's very simple guys you can do this um, recreate your own look when you go on your uh, Valentine's <laughs> and your Halloween uh, party but yeah this is my look for my Halloween party and this is very very easy I combine all the drugstore products and the high-end products to create this kind of look I was contemplating at first to get the uh, body paint but I did recreate the things that I have the makeup that I have and this is the outcome of it so if you want to see this look please stay tuned and be with me until the rest of the video let's start by using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer as the base all over my eyes for the shadows to stick then I'm taking this crushed metallic pigment from MAC and in the shade of Spicy Smoke, I am applying it from the inner corner of my eyes and into my crease lines. Then with my blending brush, I am blending all the products to prevent harsh lines. For eyeliner, I am using Maybelline Studio Gel Liner in the shade of black applying it directly from the outer V to my upper lash lines and to my entire eyelids since it's a gel liner it's very blendable then using the snow globe eyeshadow from MAC I am taking the shade set to dance to set the gel liner to my eyelids to prevent smudging Then, adding another layer, I am using Ben Nye Cherry Red Powder Shadow from my crease line up to the upper crease line, then start blending. Its eye shape will look very sharp by adding another liquid liner from Maybelline Master Precise in the shade of block and drawing it from my tear duct up to my entire crease line. Glitters is life. I am applying this liquid silver glitter from Beauty Care into my eyelid to give a shimmery effect. Then defining my brows, I am using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade of Cottage Cheese and blending it. Next to top it off, I am using Snowball shade from MAC Snow Globe to highlight everything. Then to cover my beautiful dark circles, I am using this Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. My lower lash lines, I am using Color Show in Matita Ochi, then going back with Ben Nye Cherry Red, and finish it off with Set to Dance to create this smoky effect. To complete the look, I am using Victoria's Secret Eyeliner in black into my lower water lines. Since my Marc Jacobs foundation in the shade of ivory is lighter than my skin tone, this is perfect for this look. I am applying a little bit too much for this since I am achieving the vampire look. And because of that, we need to take time and yeah, I know it takes forever to blend and we just need to blend until it gets even. After so, to set our foundation and to add more bloodless effect, I just use baby powder with my sponge and spread it all over my face. Then taming my eyebrows with a spoolie before applying eyebrow gel. With this, I am using Maybelline Studio Gel Liner in the shade of brown and shaping my brows and making sure they are on fleek. After so, I am buffing my entire face from all the powders that I put earlier to make sure that I blend everything. Then contouring, this time you can do a dominant contour as you wish 
I am using BYS Contour Trio in the shade of Sassy. I am starting on each side of my nose to make it look more slim and defined. Then highlight the bridge of my nose to lengthen the face. Then contour the undersides of the cheekbone to define the cheek. Also shading the temples and jawlines to chisel and create definition. Then I am adding gray contour from my skin food choice eyebrow powder cake to give more stiff and spooky look. Then highlight the high points of the cheekbone to define the cheek, but this time I am using Studio Finish Face Powder in the shade of Cypria. Soften and brush the contour into the highlight, working towards the center of your face. Then I am creating a fake dark under eyes on my upper cheekbone to have this blood curdling look. For my lips, I am using matte purple dash eyeliner outlining just outside the natural edge of my lips to emphasize their shape. Then adding another color from Maybelline Color Show in the shade of Matita Ochi. Then I am brushing it by adding Sakara Matte Lip Stay in the shade 06 on my entire lips. While waiting for it to dry, I am taking a concealer to clean up the edges and perfect the shape of my lips. I am using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I am creating a vampire bite on my neck, so I am adding more foundation to it. Then I am taking Tony Moly Tint Delight. I am creating three triangular dots and letting it dry. Going back to my lips, I am taking Victoria's Secret Eyeliner in the shade of black to outline. Then at the same time, filling the outer V parts of the lips. Then for the middle part of my lower and upper lip, I am applying the Ben Eye Cherry Eye Shadow. Then going back to my neck, I am adding three black dots from BYS Eyeliner in Black in the center of the Tony Moly Tint Delight. Then using a blending brush, I smudge the outer part of the tint. Then adding a matte lip stay from Soft Touch in the shade of Bloody Red. Then lastly, I go back and created a dominant black dots to create a teeth bites. And that's the final look guys. I hope you like this simple tutorial. Don't forget to be a member of our family. Like this video and comment down below. Happy Halloween!